Well, hello, fellow Shade Tree Mechanics. You're looking at a 2001 Ford Taurus SES that had a bad fuel pump. And, uh, boy, what a nightmare to fix. So I just wanted to make this video and share it with you. So the proper procedure, obviously, is to pull the vehicle up on a rack of some type drop the gas tank, pull the gas tank off of the car completely to get to the fuel pump, the fuel pump canister, and then the fuel pump. Um, it wasn't really an option for me. So <clears throat> a lot of the newer cars and the newer generation Taurus, I think it starts at 2005 and up, uh, has a hatch inside the... Uh, compartment to get to the fuel pump. This 2001 did not, and as you can see, I cut one out, roughly 8 inch diameter, so that I could get directly to the fuel pump canister. So uh, it, it was a job, I'm not going to deny that, um, and the actually the most time consuming part was uh, ball peening a piece of tin put back over the hole after I cut it out, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, again, it's about an eight inch hole. Let me see if I can get over the center here. You can see my hole is a little bit off center. Um, I didn't, uh, there's no way you can look underneath to see where the fuel pump is, so I just basically drilled a witness hole in the original piece I cut out, and that is right, right here. It was about a three eighths hole. And I shined a light in the hole, and I, I saw this tang here, and I thought that was in the center. So I, I based my measurement off of that, um, the center this way. Um, and it was not. And there's some, some other mistakes that I made, so my hole got off center. But this little nail I have positioned here is the center, rusty nail, is the center of the fuel pump canister, the, the yellow plastic piece, which is basically five and a quarter inches in diameter. And again, it's an eight inch hole, ended up a little too big for what I needed. I didn't have to go that big. I would recommend a seven inch hole. I mean, you know, if you're really good, you could probably do a six inch hole because like I said, the canister diameter is five and a quarter inches but you got to kind of cock it sideways when you take it out because of the uh, the filter uh, material that sticks off to the side so I would I really wouldn't go any lower than a than a seven inch diameter hole so if we measure off so to get the center what I'm doing here is I'm going off of this rusty nail which again is the center of the uh, fuel pump canister and I'm measuring over to this plug, rubber plug. And it's approximately um, 15 inches to the inside cor uh, line of this rubber grommet. So that'll give you one measurement. And again, we're on the passenger side of the vehicle. The other measurement, front to back measurement, if you look here, if you can see the, the shadow difference, you'll see a, a bend line, a factory bend line, about a quarter inch to the right of the end of my hole here. So if we go off of that, uh, bear with me. If we go off of that bend line, We're looking at approximately four and a quarter inches. So if you uh, do those two measurements, you'll intersect right here at the center of that canister. You'll be able to cut your seven inch hole. You should be able to pull the pump right out of there. Be very careful cutting. Um, as you can see here, these lines they're not even a half an inch away from the metal. So 
So if you cut too deep, you're going to cut right into your lines. Um, what I used was a, you know, some of you guys, you may uh, use it like a four and a half inch uh, angle grinder. I don't recommend that. What I used here is a, actually a, a three inch grinder. And you can see I, it's not three inches anymore. I uh, used up the, uh, the wheel pretty good. <clears throat> but anyway, just be very careful, you know. Put it, put it in there, cut very careful, try to go just, just deep enough to get through without going any further. Or again, you're going to end up cutting these lines. Um, any other type of saw, man, I wouldn't even do it, uh, honestly. Like a jigsaw or something, the blade's going to go way too deep and cut right through the line. Uh, so you just got to take your time. And, uh, you know, if you smell gas, if you think the Maybe your gas um, tank is leaking or something. I wouldn't even do it. I mean, you don't want to be grinding with sparks and, uh, you know, have gas fumes around. So be careful. This definitely isn't factory. It's just my way of doing things. Uh, this was a situation I was in. So here's the cover I made. Basically 26 gauge uh, duct uh, tin. And of course, Ford didn't make it flat, so I had to ball peen these raised areas here to match the uh, you know the existing uh, floorboard. So, uh, but I've already had this all screwed in; works fine. Um, just took it back out to show you guys, and all I can say is good luck. If I missed anything, put it in the description uh, of the video 